Amen. Congratulations. You've just taken the greatest step you can ever take. And you have received the greatest blessing you can ever get. Please, our counselors, let's swing into action. Don't leave out anyone. We appeal to our converts, those who have just given their lives to Christ. Let's remain standing as we are swiftly attended to. Let's fill the sleeping block letters. Remember to fill in all the details. Wherever you are, this is a very critical and crucial moment. Please ensure that you submit all the needed details. This also is the first test of the genuineness of your conversion. The truth and nothing but the truth. All the information you'll be supplying, all the details. This is necessary so as to help you. The conversion of your soul is just the miracle of a moment. But your discipleship is the task of a lifetime. That's why you need all the help and support you can get now. And this sleep will help us to rally around you so that we can be of help to you in your newfound faith and in your journey to heaven. Please cancel us. Let's not waste time. Don't leave out anyone. Not only at the Alpha location, in every other location. Please, let's do a very, very thorough job. This is the art of GCK. There is joy in heaven, in the presence of the holy angels and before the heavenly Father. He shall see of the fruit of his travail and shall be satisfied. This is the essence of Calvary. Let's do everything possible to ensure that we don't miss out anyone. If you are all by yourself, listening on the radio or watching on the TV, or via any social media and do, if you look at the screen, you will see the link being displayed or the number where you can fill in a form with your details so that we can capture those details and be able to help you. Please do that without any waste of time. For those of us who are already born again, we are believers, why not bow down your head and begin to pray and answer the great question from the Lord Jesus Christ. What will thou that I do for you here and now? The stage is set. There is no doubt about it. The Spirit of the Lord is working mightily in this place and in every other location. What is your desire? What do you want the Lord to do for you tonight? Please pray. Talk to the Lord. Can you imagine the Lord offering you an open check and he says, fill it in. Anything and everything you want. Yours is the privilege to fill in that check and you'll also be cashing it at the counter of God's visitation. Do what you need to do. He is faithful. He will do what he has promised to do. We have been taught so clearly tonight. Blind Bartimaeus made the promise his premise and he received. The promise is unto you too. So pray unto the Lord. Tell him your desire. You are not a spectator. You are not here to watch as others testify. There is a need or needs in your own life. These counselors were waiting. If you have not been attended to, you can wave your hand so that the nearest counselor to you can see you and come over to where you are. Everyone is rejoicing over you. You are now a citizen of the kingdom. Your name has entered that eternal register, the book of life. Your status has changed. No more will you be called a sinner, but now a saint. 
indwelt by the spirit of the most high god and do you know what as soon as you give your life to christ he assigns to you an invisible bodyguard the only angel more powerful than any earthly guard so many things you are now have access to the throne of the father you can now call god father and jesus lord once you are through you just wave the flag so that we can confirm that you are through at your end please in every location let's accord the importance that this deserves to this session this is very very critical and crucial don't gloss over it as you are praying believe believe trust in the lord the angels are all around with packages packages of blessings and miracles just waiting for the pronouncement of god's anointed and chosen servant so that they can start distributing your portion is there ask the lord be specific tell him your heart desire counselors we're waiting for you we want all our converts to remember converts right from the first night of the crusade the lunch hour with jesus tomorrow at 3 p.m right in this premises over there at the choir room please don't miss it it's very very important and in a week's time sunday october 1st will be converts rally globally for all our new converts please take note remember tomorrow is ministers conference at six hours gmt if you have a three meal course a three course meal i mean you will not eat the appetizer and run away you have had the appetizer on friday let's come for the main meal and the dessert the complete course is for us we are on a journey We've just passed the first milestone. Ensure you are there tomorrow. Please cancel us. We are waiting. Once you are through, just wave the flag. Tonight is a special night. You know why? It is your time. It is your turn to testify. The power of the Lord will touch you tonight as never before. You are holding on to the promise. That is your premise as you approach the Lord. It shall be done. We are still waiting to see. Once you are through, in your section, just wave the flag. Thank you very much. At the other side, we're still waiting. Thank you very much. What of the other side? Okay, let's all rise up now as we welcome our beloved Father in the Lord for this miracle prayer. It is your turn. It is your time. Praise the Lord. It is my turn. It is my turn. 
your miracle time has come. Remember, that man by himself cast away the garment, the badge of blindness, the mark of a problem. You are the one to let go of the wheelchair, let go of the crutches, let go of the braces, let go of whatever it is you are hanging on as the badge, as the mark of the pain, the problem, the sickness. Now you know that at the final amen, the Lord is going to heal you. My time has come. My turn has come. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. What do I say? Lay the hand on where you have the challenge because Jesus said you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And I cannot come to everyone in the multitude crowd stadium one by one. And so I said, lend me your hand and lay your own hand there where you have the challenge and you believe that the Lord himself lays his hand on your hand there you got the miracle now when you hear the final amen don't go back to the wheelchair don't go back to the crutches you will stand you will hear you will see your problem will vanish away father in the mighty name of jesus of the anointing of the holy ghost i bring your healing your deliverance your anointing upon everyone here in the world tonight touch them heal them in jesus name evil spirit tormenting demon i command you come out in jesus name all those things walking about in the body tormenting the body burning in the body i command come out in jesus name the swelling for whatever reason the swelling in any part of the body melt up, vanish, come out in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, the Lord is touching your blind eyes now. Open those eyes and see clearly, brightly in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb, receive uh, your miracle hearing. And your tongue loose now by the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, all internal problems, they're taken away right now. And I pray that asthma, you're healed now in Jesus' name. Is your blood dry up in Jesus' name? HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, you are healed in Jesus' name. That cancer eating up that part of your body and spreading to different parts of the body, I stop those cancer germs right now. Dry up in Jesus' name. That pain of ulcer be healed in Jesus' name. And here, yeah, vanish away in Jesus' name. Diabetes, frequent urination, sugar in the blood be healed in Jesus' name. Hypertension. You are healed in Jesus' name. The pain in any part of your joints, shoulder, elbow, knee, ankle, any part, 
pain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That with that hand, stretch it out. Normal, you are healed. And those who have one leg shorter than the other, that short leg, grow out now in Jesus' name. Paralysis, lameness, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, everywhere now, everyone now, right, left, center, middle, back, everywhere, online, everywhere, over the radio, everywhere, over the television, everywhere that you hear the sound of my voice, receive your miracle right now. Lord, we thank you. It is done. In your body, it is done. On your child, on your papa, on your mama, everyone here, everyone, everywhere, it is done in Jesus' name. Performance, confirmation has come for you there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Check up yourself. The miracle is there. Whatever you couldn't do before, start doing it. The power has touched you already. And don't make a mistake. You are looking up there. Who is coming down first? It starts with you. Tell the person next to you, the testimony starts with me. Tell them, the testimony starts with me. Hallelujah. It's happening over there already. As it happens, just shout, Hallelujah, and we we'll rejoice with you. The power has been released. Whatever you couldn't do before, begin to do it. Open those eyes, you can see. If you brought any deaf or dumb person, please test them because they can hear and they can speak now. The power of God is working in the camp. Don't miss the opportunity. Test yourself and confirm what God has done. Whatever you couldn't do before, do it right away. You couldn't bend the hand, bend it. You couldn't stretch the hand, stretch it. If you're on the wheelchair, get up and walk. Just confirm what God has done. Test yourself. The power has touched you already. There's no doubt about that. The miracle is there in your body. Test yourself and confirm. We are waiting for you. As you confirm what the Lord has done, just give a shout. Direct them, direct them to the left hand side of the stage. Please just come forward quickly, quickly without wasting time. Yes, check yourself. Don't be looking around at others. Check yourself. That swelling has disappeared. Check it and confirm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Just direct them, direct them. If the counselors are around them, kindly bring them quickly to the left-hand side of the stage. My own left-hand side, your own right-hand side. And all over, in every location, wherever you are connected to this crusade, check yourself, it has happened. We are still waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Just come forward quickly. Whatever you couldn't do before. Hallelujah. 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 See somebody marching over there. See her marching over there. This is marvelous. This is wonderful. 
tears of joy will flow tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Check yourself. Check yourself. It has happened to you. Yes, we rejoice with others. We celebrate with others. But the testimony starts with you. Check yourself. Whatever you couldn't do before, do it. Let's start interviewing them right away without wasting time. Check yourself. Check yourself. People are already coming out. Check yourself. We rejoice with others, but check yourself. So many, many miracles have happened here tonight. And don't say, well, I will go home first. Then I can come and testify tomorrow night or Tuesday night. No. Check yourself. Whatever you couldn't do before, do it now. Power. Everybody shout, power. Ah. I didn't say you should say power. I said shout. Everybody shout power. What has touched you tonight? What has touched you tonight? What has touched you tonight? Shout it once again. Power. That power is still working all over, all over, globally. Bring them out quickly. Don't waste time. Bring them out. But remember, check yourself. Hallelujah. Tonight is miracle night. Bring them out quickly. Bring them out quickly. Don't waste time at all, please. But remember, check yourself. Workers, leaders, pastors, you're all part of tonight's visitation. Check yourself. Check yourself. The power has been released. Whatever you couldn't do before, begin to do it. Can you give the Lord a very big cup offering? Check yourself. Check yourself. Orchestra, let's have you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See Aroni. See Aroni. See Aroni. Power. You confirm, come over, come over, come over, come over. Let's sing and rejoice.
While we are getting ready here, let's quickly go online for testimonies. We we'll start from the online. Hallelujah. Super Sunday is here with super miracles. And we're receiving testimonies live on social media. Let's bring you the testimonies as we're receiving them now. To the glory of God, we received a testimony of a great miracle that happened in the United Kingdom. Her name is Juliet Abordene from Isles of White. She had been in prolonged labor for about five days, and the doctors were already considering inducing her. As they said, the baby was too big and may be in distress. She was on her way to the maternity unit and then connected to the GCK live in Zambia. As God's servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Komoyi was ministering, he made prayers and the prayers went with power. And after the final amen, her labor contraction became more frequent. And we're told that she gave birth to a bouncing baby boy Come, within a few minutes Lord. of the final amen. The doctors were amazed. Dr. Jesus came through after the ministration of his servant. It was miraculous and safe delivery. Praise the Lord. While the miracles are being recorded at the Alpha location, the Lord is doing great things online as well. We have a testimony coming from Ruth Adebolu, and she says, Thank you, Jesus for healing me from my waist pain. Praise the Lord. And we have another one, and it's coming all the way from Nigeria, and it reads, Thanks be to Jesus for healing me of chest pain and headache just now after the prayer of the man of God. Praise God. The power of God at GCK traveled all the way to Calabar. And there is a testimony from South South Nigeria. Calabar now broadcasting live. Praise the Lord. My name is Christiana Orok. I am in Cross River State, Calabar region, Nigeria. By the grace of God, I am born again. I am here to testify to the healing power of God in my life. In the month of July, I took ill. I had stomach upset. I thought it was just a little problem, but I didn't know the enemy had come to claim my life. But I told him my life is not in his hand, it is in the hands of God. The following day, it became so severe that I had to go to a private hospital and when I got there I was asked to go for scan when I brought back the result of the scan the doctor was scared he referred me to Navy Hospital Calabar when I got there I was on admission several tests and scans were carried out the final one was CT scan while the CT scan was on I was almost like a dead person I couldn't speak all I was saying in my heart was God of Pastor Kumui. Have mercy on me. I've been in this church since 1983. I have not visited any false prophet. Please have mercy on me. And while in the hospital, my state overseer and his beloved wife visited and prayed for me. When the result was out, I was diagnosed of different ailments. I was told I had fibroids. I had appendix, I had kidney stone, I had enlargement of liver, and I had high sugar. I told the devil that this is not for me, it is for you. After some days, I was discharged. Brethren were coming to pray for me. I look away from the pains. I believe the prayers of pastors and the men of God. During the edition of the August edition of the GCK, we went out even with uh, the pens went out for evangelism and publicity with faithful brethren. During the period of the crusade, after every message from the man of God, we always asked during the miracle prayers to raise up our hands and place the other one where we had the, elm, uh, the challenge. And so I was doing that. 
in one of the days he specifically mentioned my problem and that was how God in heaven visited me and healed me completely this is the result of the scan in my hands and I stand here to say may the name of God be glorified in Jesus name I also want to say daddy thank you very much may God bless and continue to keep you for us in Jesus name mighty and marvelous works the Lord is doing. Another testimony from YouTube from Esho Temitope uh, says, praise the Lord with me. The Lord has healed me from shortness of breath and difficulty in breathing. Praise the Lord. More miracles and we have another one from Benson Pearl and he is praising God that just uh, yesterday he had uh, difficulties in breathing and coughing but after the prayer of the man of God, he can breathe well and he even slept better. Thank God. God is distributing testimonies to people all over the world. And now we'll take you to Nigeria again. This time, Southwest Nigeria. Akure Broadcasting Live. from a uh, beautiful gate district in a double group, uh, group of district in Akure, Kondo State, Nigeria. I want to testify to the goodness of God for what God did in my life. So some weeks ago that the uh, rain was falling, I went out to collect water. So I was coming in. I, the, the floor slid my leg and I fell and broke my foot. And then a nurse, I called a nurse to help me to treat it and the he gave me some tab tablets and uh, some oil, uh, uh, something to rub it and bandage it. Uh, the following day, my husband started using hot water to help me to press it morning and night. I can, I, it was not all that painful that I, I can still go I manage it to go out. But as the uh, Ushobo Christian was coming this uh, day, our pastor always said we should go out for publicity. So I, 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 I followed them. By the time I got home, I discovered that uh, I'm not feeling all that all right again. Then by daybreak, the leg was uh, so painful that I decided to stay at home. So I was thinking to stay at home to uh, listen the message through the phone. But uh, the, as God will have it, the, uh, the, the Lord directed me to go to the church. So as I get, go to the church, after the ministration of our pastor, w, uh, pastor w. and he said we should put our hand where the pain is, I shook the foot. And I laid my hand upon my head, and God will heal me from the crown of my head and to the sole of my foot. So as I was going on that night, the pain was so severe that I couldn't walk very well, uh, more, more severe than as I was coming. Then uh, when I, I got, I was closer, near, nearer to my house when I saw Okada, and I had to call the Okada, please carry me home. He charged me to hurry. I said, no, my house is very close. It's not far. Then he took me to my place. Then uh, when I got home, I was narrating the story of the matter to my husband that see, oh, as I was coming to this uh, from the crusade, the pain or delay was so severe that I had to take a car from uh, the, uh, very close to our house here. So after I uh, directed everything to my husband, as I moved, I discovered the leg was the light. I told my husband, miracle has taken place. Miracle has taken place. I was just shouting, miracle has taken place. Miracle has taken place. I started walking around the city room. Marching around the city room. I said, my husband said, shaking the foot. There's no pain. I said, no pain. I didn't feel any pain again. So maybe my husband was a bit doubtful. He said, okay, let's wait till the following day. So when he day breaks, he asked me, where is the leg? How is it? I started marching again, walking around again. I didn't feel any pain. Even till now, there's no pain. The Lord has taken all the pain away from me. Praise the living Jesus. I, I, my second testimony goes thus. Uh, I discovered uh, during the time of uh, this uh, Portacot uh, Crusade, Global Crusade, I discovered that around that, uh, before that time, uh, whenever I look outside, my eyes will be very, uh, the, the weather will be so cloudy that I cannot see clearly. Then I took the matter to those people that used to treat the eyes. He gave me drugs, he said that it's a cataract that is not matured that he, I should take the uh, prescribed drop for me. So I was able to buy the dry drop. Uh, they said the other was 6,000. So I went to, 
I was thinking that when I have the money, I will go and buy the throne. But as the crusade was coming, I said, let me join. I will take this matter to God in the prayer and crusade. So when I got to the crusade, I was praying about the eye. And as our pastor, after administration, I said we should put hands where we are having the problem. I put my hands on my eyes. And after the prayer, I discovered that since then, up to now, I can see very clearly. Even before that time, I can't see somebody that is a bit further from me. But now I can see very far. I can see clearly as the eyes was before. Praise the living Jesus. While we have more testimonies online, we will return to our moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. That hallelujah is too small. Praise the Lord. Can we give a big clap offering to the Lord? Now we have testimonies from the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. I'm Sister Justina Banda from Mondola, Copper Belt. I received my miracle yesterday. I had a sharp pain this side, inside my mouth. I was sitting right up there. Then, after the prayer of uh, the GS, the pain just disappeared. I couldn't give the testimony yesterday. I was thinking maybe the pain would come back. But the pain has gone. I'm not even feeling pain up to now. Praise and it the will Lord. never come back. Amen. Okay, so what she was describing is what is referred to as a locked jaw. So this tends to happen a lot in adults. So in a locked jaw, it's just basically there's a jaw in here which allows your mouth to open. So it's called the temporomandibular joint. That one doesn't open. And once it gets locked, you have that pain that she was describing. Thank you. And the Lord has opened it. Praise the Lord. The next testifier, quickly. Okay. Let's have the next testifier. The impossible say, Mueve Shrekuno, in the name of Yuda Custom. Now they want Papa Hanke Clinic. Ero Nasaf Mapa Medico Pantu Shalequan Shokwenda, Shalequan Shokwenda, and of Mipa Medico. For Naf Minenchito, and you won't be fifty thirty three years, Muzaf. Now the supervisor of the clinic is the total of the clinic. If you want to be able to do it, you will be able to do it. 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 You will be Chikote fingi fya kulanda mwe bantu bakwalesa bama yaba chinde tande batasha ndefo bakeshi bana panga ndapa myandi Let's have the application Praise the Lord Hallelujah Our mother here is testifying to the goodness of God what God has done for her in this GCK According to her, she's saying she used to work at Wanki Clinic. Uh, it's a clinic for Zaf. Now, because of her sickness and the challenge that she had, she had to be discharged on medical grounds. And she's been suffering from my BP for 33, 22 years. 22 years she's been suffering uh, from that BP. According to her, she's saying she never expected that she'll be healed of her condition. She's taken medication for years. She wasn't made better, but now she's healed. She has no many words to say, but to thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Can we put our hands together for the law? Let's quickly hear from the medical practitioner. Okay, so what she was describing is the hypertension that she's been having. Now, because of the hypertension, it tends to cause paralysis. So it, to, it tends to cause ischemia in the brain, so lack of blood supply in the brain. And that leads to paralysis on the side that was affected. So because of the hypertension, she was unable to walk. Of course, she was getting medication for the hypertension, but because of the consequence of the hypertension, she was unable to walk. Uh, but now comes uh, being able to walk. 22 years problem disappeared. Jump your hands together for the Lord, people of God. Your blessing is permanent in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Demi posha won se mwishna ya kwa Yesu. Ne abali dia maundu. Ndikala kumtendere east. Nariza kuri sister and tera maundu kaunda square. So, na ale rwala mola. Ya ale kadipa na na rwala fo 1 year 5 months. Shale ima, shale nda. So mwa cho ndi ale nkose de shafe, yo nsale ntumina ma messages ya ba GS. Na umva ku fila fine. So I want send there na isa kunganda kumwakwe. Ero ai shire bika pwero kwa ri ya So na ambo ku mfwa ko na isa naima. Na ambo ku sherero kwenda. Futu ate meno munganda. Futu na kabina ika. Na isha ko kwenda fo na ambire ko kwenda panono panono. E i crusade to isa na re sherere fine ndenda panono 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 panono. Finally there. Ero ba ti twitati. Ba landa ti tukese kuri afu e ba pere mie o shesukuri how na chisa kwa nisho kwa ndo kufumo kuku ya fiko. Kuna zunga tia unshi nzikachi nkani na. So kwa nga tika biefi. Fuma na chenda na afika na kubwela na imia na kapunoko nshi imia na isa vika pa na ikala. Hei di na chikala. Pale preaching na atu ikala fupape nende pepa. So kwa haba nga shafta wa ima wa mbo kuenda. Na ina na jimwele sabu sheba di anga wa enda. Na kutina afiru wa kuenda. Hefu na chisa ima na ina na mbo kuenda. Panono panono denda pepine. Denda paka palasti na ambo kubutuka fonshi butuka muevantu. Nero nde tote la lesa. Na 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 kutari gretu panula lepe pa mjipa life. Nero na isareka. Na ya kumbi sono mba. Nimbwe la nde joina na kuhaya. Praise the Lord. Let's have the interpretation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Her name is Lydia Maundu from Mutendere East. Uh, our testimony is that uh, for one year, five months, she's been unable to walk because of high BP. So she's saying her sister has been helping her with uh, GS messages, and uh, she's been failing to walk like that. But finally today, as the prayer of the man of God was made, when the other person started walking there, she also got up. And the chair that she's been unable to lift, she lifted it. And when they said those that have given their lives to the Lord can come to the other side, she's been able to lift that chair and to take it to a far place, a thing that she's, un she's been unable to do. The other thing she said is that uh, she, she's thanking God because she had been a member of Deeper Life, but she stopped. Now she's back and she has pledged that she will join the choir. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. That's not enough. Jump those hands together for the Lord. Let's listen to the medical practitioner quickly. So again, that's a complication of hypertension. Like she mentioned, she's been having these high BPs. And because of the high BP, one of the complications is called hypertensive nephropathy, where the nerves get affected, and that leads to failure to walk. So that's the condition she was having. Thank you. And the power of God has neutralized nephropathy. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is uh, Lloyd Mbewe. I've come to return the glory to the Almighty God for healing me. 
have received my healing this night. I had a growth in my armpit for about two to three years. But after the prayer from the man of God, it has disappeared completely. Oh. Put your Thank hands you. together for the Lord. As I was examining the, uh, the, the person who was just from uh, testifying, we realized that from the picture that he presented and the time that he had, what he had was a benign tumor. So a benign tumor is more like a cancer, but a milder form of a cancer which grows slowly. And uh, at today, we couldn't see that tumor. Thank you. Benign tumor disappear. What are you looking at? Jump those hands together for the Lord. Please, before we continue the testimonies, tell the person next to you, why are you hiding your own testimony? Tell him, tell him, tell her. Ask him or I again, Pre why are you hiding your own testimony? Praise tell him, Lord. go out and testify. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nenze na penya mara tulaso tuvembe futonse. So after prayer, tata disappear. So nenze omangi wakuipa, sinenzo pesa filifonse. So apa, ndi na omasuka. Yep, the testimony yang. Let's, can we have interpretation? Nenze omvela tulaso tuvembe futonse. Praise the Lord. The brother here is testifying that he had a problem. He wasn't breathing well and he had some pains in the stomach. But just after the man of God, our general superintendent, prayed today, he's saying that he has been totally healed. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. You are hearing this word over and over again. Disappeared. Disappeared. What has happened to your problem? It has. Please ask the person next to you. If it has disappeared, why are you not going out to testify? Ask him all. Come out and testify. So the previous testifier, what he was describing is called peptic ulceration or peptic ulcer disease. What is commonly known in the community as gases, but a severe form of that one, which causes a little bit of ulceration in the stomach, and that results in the pain that he was describing. So peptic ulceration, thank you. Hallelujah. My name is Beauty Mirambo. I'm going to use Tonga. So, so so I was so one, and I was like, I was like, I was like, I was kwanza I was like, 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 I was our sister is just found that in 2018 she was struck by a lightning um, to her right hand. So, actually, today, as the man of God prayed, God touched her hand and she's completely made whole. Amen. Wait, wait, wait. She was demonstrating as if she couldn't use that hand before. Yes, she that couldn't. Be emphasized. She couldn't use that hand from 2018. Which of the hand? The right hand or the left hand? The right hand. Now, can we see you use demonstrate if you can use the hand now? 
Hallelujah. Can you see the miracle? Jam your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> the next testifier. Okay, so uh, the previous word, I think I can't really appreciate before, the theology Before, of it. immediately after the medical comment, uh, the comment of the medical practitioner, we have the orchestra before we continue. Tonight is testimony light. Tonight is what? Your testimony is needed. Come out. Okay, so I'm unable to identify the etiology of that uh, condition, but I know that what she was presenting is paraparesis, where you have this numbness and weakness in the limb. As to the etiology, I can't ascertain for now, but uh, as you've heard, uh, that's, that's what happened. Thank you. After the physician, only a miracle remains. And that miracle has happened to the great physician. Jam your hands together for the great physician. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent in Jesus' name. I want to hear that thing that will be permanent. All right. Uh, my name is uh, Sister Viti Mlamba Kaitisha. I'm coming from Solwezi, Deeper Life. I've been delivered this evening, this night. I want to thank God for what he has done for me. Brethren, I've never witnessed a miracle, but today it has happened to me. Amen. Hallelujah. I've had rush. Solwezi sisters, Solwezi brethren, my mothers, most of them, you are here. That problem, the Lord has visited me today. I've had rush in my armpits and on my private parts. I've had it before my wedding day, 2013. That's when I got married. But before that, even my matron and the ones who were helping me, I, I told them that I have this rush and it has really troubled me. Even on my wedding day, brethren, I was scratching. I couldn't pass in the sun. I couldn't. At my place of work, they know I've been troubled for 10 years. Now today, actually before that, uh, uh, I think for some six months, six months ago, I began uh, seeing something around my neck. It was one. I've seen it. A lot of uh, sisters have, even just outside there. To my black, black things coming out around my neck. Round. When I tried to pull it like this, I was bleeding. There were a number of them around my neck. So I was just wondering, what's this? I told my husband, he told me, just have faith in God. One day you'll be delivered. Hallelujah. So when this GCK was being announced, I said, I have to see Daddy Kumoi. In this GCK, I purposed, I told myself, whether soft or hard, I have to go. My plans when I was coming, I said, I have even just to touch the, his garment. But because of, you know, what the arrangement here, we are somewhere there very far. I was like, how do I receive my... But tonight, when he said, at the shout of the final, amen, you touch, begin to do what you could do. Brethren in Avadrash, he have never been smooth here, believe me, for 10 years. But I asked my sisters there, check, you people, check. Are you able to feel anything here? Are you still uh, waiting? Uh, Put your hands uh, together to, for you the Lord. You people, I don't... The, what, the, uh, the, what the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. I will live to serve the God of Father. Father, come in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, I am delivered. Remember the Amen. word. 
What is our word tonight? Disa. Dia. Disa. Dia. Where is that problem you came with? You, you, where is that problem? I'm asking you that you are sitting there. It the problem you came with, where is it? That's disappeared. If it has disappeared, why are you sitting down there? Come and testify. Stand, yeah. Tonight is testimony night. Okay. The next testifier, after the comment of the medical practitioner. Okay, so I didn't get to see the rash personally, but what she was describing most likely was a fungal infection. So normally those affect the armpits and the private parts. And the, what she was describing on the neck are called papules. So those are skin papules and they're very difficult to treat. Very? Make that comment again, please, doctor. They are very what? They are very difficult to treat. Is it for treatment? Consultation, medication, supervision, and all the social. But tonight, at one single prayer, everything jump those hands together for the Lord. And Jesus did it free of child. Look at the camera. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'm Sister Elizabeth M. Nkole from Woodlands Group of District, Lusaka, Zambia. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord, of what God has done for me during this divine encounter with the God of Miracles. I proposed it that I need to attend this program. Of course, coming here, the devil tried by all means maybe to hinder me because I was very sick. I've never even been going for work from the end of uh, August to date. So the problem that I've had, I've had this problem from 2019. That's when I was told that I have allergies around my nostrils. So whenever I'm exposed to all the things that I'm allergic to, my nose would get inflamed, like I was inflammation in the nose and I was failing to breathe. So when we came on Thursday, before that, I'd already restated what I wanted God to do for me. And on Friday, Thursday night we came, we prayed, and I believed God for my healing. On, um, we went back home, and then Friday, I just told myself to say that the same way I've risen from my sick bed, I'll never go back. So on Friday, when we went for the minister's conference, brethren, that's where I received my miracle, at, right there at the minister's conference. When we started the program, of course, we listened to the message, and after the prayer of the man of God, and during that minister's conference, there was nothing like asking for what you need, because what I learned was, what I needed was a double portion. After the prayer of the man of God, when we just said, Amen, lo and behold, what I saw was blood coming out of my nose right there at the minister's conference. And after that, the people that were next to me asked me, do you breathe? I said, no, I don't. But this is the power of God. So God performed his own operation on me for that particular problem. And from that day to date, I've never had any problems in difficulties. I'm no longer reacting to the things that I was allergic to. And here are the things that I was relying on. This is a nozzle spray. And this is the inhaler that you use if you have inflammation because it has steroid in it. Please, Doc, get them and give them to whoever you Put feel. Put us together for, for the Lord. For Praise the Lord and may the name of the Lord be glorified. Let's quickly uh, listen to our medical practitioner. Okay, she's been my patient for quite a while, actually. She's, um, <laughs> she's had uh, allergic rhinitis and polyps. So polyps are basically things that are in your nose. Now, ideally, people don't respond to that. You and me are breathing properly right now because we're not reacting. But people who suffer from that, normally, when they pass through a crowd like this one, even if there is basically smoke, any allergy, any trees around, you find that the polyps in your nose, which normally don't inflame, inflame abnormally, and this person stops breathing. So what she's describing as the fluconas or here is just something that stops the inflammation and helps her to breathe. So that's what she was describing, nasal polyps. Thank you. Please take note of something. It happened at the minister's conference. She didn't just receive that mantle of power. She received practical and immediate healing. Tomorrow morning is another encounter with the God of power. 
don't miss the church workers professionals and ministers conference the time is 8 a.m cat six hours gmt the next testifier please I greet you all in Jesus' name. I'm Tongomani Jopi from Botswana and Shakajogo village. I had, I've been having a problem with the eyes. I lost, I, my eyes were dim. As the pastor was preaching, when he said amen, I opened my eyes and I could see it clearly. She went through an operation in 1991 and by the appendix here. And then this pain had been tra troubling her for all these years. But after the, the amen of the pastor, she could just feel so comfortable and the pain was no more. I'm so grateful for this church because it has been so many years I've been following it and even yesterday when the kids came they just kept they just took me up to this country and then I'm so grateful glory be to God I'm grateful in Jesus' name. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Listen to me. There are still several testimonies there. But for the sake of time and because we see our minister's conference tomorrow morning, we'll take... Okay. We're going to round off now. Please, our testifiers who are there, I want to plead with you. Ensure you testify tomorrow. Tell the person sitting next to you there. Ensure you testify tomorrow. Because God has done it. He has done it. If God has done it for you, shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. Now we are going to rise up together. We will sing together. Are you ready to praise and worship the Lord? Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the lottery. For answering our prayers, confirming your word. Thank you for the lottery. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the lottery. For answering our prayers, confirming your word. Thank you for the lottery. It is raining. All over me, I can feel it, the lottery. Ride on Jesus, give us more rain. Until we are wet, until we are soaked with the lottery. Lift up your voice and worship the Lord for this night. Let's praise the Lord for the showers of blessing, the miracles and the signs and wonders. Please lift up your voice and praise the Lord. Let's worship Him. Let's give Him glory. Let's thank the Lord for His servant, the mighty hand of God, resting upon His chosen and anointed servant. The confirmation of the word with signs following. Let's celebrate with heaven the decisions, so many decisions. For Christ tonight, souls saved, lives changed, yokes broken, mountains.
that have been removed. Stories changed. Tears wiped away. Let's celebrate globally. Worship the Lord. Let's pray. The Lord will multiply His grace and renew the strength of His servant. Pray for mother and the Lord too, ever supportive. The Lord will continue to renew our strength. Pray for all laborers in the vineyard. The Lord will renew the strength of everyone. Pray for yourself too, that the Lord renew your strength and all the blessings will be permanent. Seal every blessing with the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, where do we start from to thank you? You are faithful. We thank you for the great reign of your blessing, for your visitation, for your touch, for the salvation of souls, for the healings and deliverances. For everything you've done, we return the glory to you. Thank you so much for your servant, for your mighty hand and your great anointing upon him. Thank you, Lord, because we know tomorrow you will do greater things. And Tuesday night, the grand finale, oh, it shall be said we never saw it in this fashion. Lord, every blessing will be permanent. Take everyone home safely tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The loudest, amen. And the biggest, loudest clap offering unto the Lord. God bless you. The meeting for tonight is over. Sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, deafness, dumbness, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling, goiter, fibroid, elephantiasis, come out in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, come out in Jesus' name. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Blindness, deafness, dumbness, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling, goiter, fibroid, elephantiasis, come out in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, come out in Jesus' name.
the Lord. There is none, there is none beside me. No, beside me. Oh, 